people, you welcome to another edition of Artisan Spot. And joining me today on Artisan Spot is Bullion K. <laughs> you welcome to the show. Thank you. So tell me, how have you been? You look good. Thank you very much. You look good too. <laughs> how have you been? How is life treating you? Thank God. Mm. Thank God. All right, so tell us. Oh. So how are you doing? I'm good. I'm Thank good. You. I mean, I'm fine. <laughs> Good. All right, so tell us who is Bullion K? Um, Bullion K is a big getting right now, fellow. Is what the biggest thing right now, fellow? <laughs> oh, yeah. the biggest thing right now in, in Aqua Album. Okay, mm. all right, tell us your background, your growing up. Where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Aqua Album. Are you serious? Yeah. You don't look like you're from here. I don't look like is this like is there any special I mean, light? You're dark. You actually look like um oh okay. Mm, the Yoruba is more. Okay, so um this guy is fair. Um this Lego Chinese <laughs> guy is fair. It doesn't mean that it's not from Lagos because it's fair. No, not really, but you don't really look like you're from Hesha. But oh good. I want to hear from you now. You must speak the language me. Speak, speak, speak. I want to hear. I do the medium but me and Kimaya will very soon. <laughs> okay, Maddie, I'm fine. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. okay. It's 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 okay. Okay, I actually. What did I eat this morning? You see, you want to lie. I cannot. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell you after the show, okay? Alright, All right, so tell, tell us. How's your music career been? How did it begin? Well, um. I started the music in 2014. Okay. Okay. I, I, I recorded my first song in 2014. It was actually a cover. Mm -hmm. Then um, I've been doing the normal, you know, going to see this record, singles, and all of that. But I actually had my first official single. I uh, was pretty featuring Young Ace. That was okay. earlier this year. Wow. And it was a bomb. It was playing everywhere. Quiet Room, Lagos. Um, I mean, it was everywhere. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is a real thing. Alright, so tell us, how has your music career been right from time when you started this? So stressful, thing? stressful, and uh, challenging. You know, coming from a family that doesn't support music. Okay. You know, everyone, uh, they, they actually thought I was going to be a medical doctor. So, okay. I wouldn't tell you I didn't. Performing art in school, like what is this guy doing? They don't tell him we're doing music. You are going to the studio to record. So it was it was really challenging because I wasn't getting that funds from my family. Okay. I was doing my own thing, and I had to sneak out from the house to go do it. So most time I come back late, going for shows, coming back late. Uh, the problem was just too much for me. But I thank God though for everything. I mean. Everything it's turning around, so you're good. Yeah. All right, but you stay more. You stay more in Uyo or in Lagos. Lagos, Uyo because of school. Okay. All right. Apart from finances and probably getting back up from your parents, since they're not in support of your, they were not in support of your music career. What has been those challenging moments where you get to be like, ah, God. Ah, and your regrets. In this Aquaibo shower, I've gone for shows, I've been for shows, going for shows in Aquaibo at the very shows. Like, so there are times where I used to go, I have to beg the DJs okay. to play my song. I will go for shows, so they won't allow me to perform. So tell me that I go and sit down and chill. Your song, go out, oh yeah, go and buy a DJ, do a DJ with them, go and meet them, so you chill, you know, every time. <laughs> and I have to, this is a beer power in New York, hmm. I have to wait for everybody to go. Before you can perform, I'm not perform for empty seats. And you see the joy while we perform. <laughs> <laughs> you have joy performing for the empty like, seats. I was I was looking for that platform. I was okay. eager. I wanted that platform by all means. So any little opportunity I get, I was like, ah, let me just showcase. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was not easy. Then you go back home, think, why nothing came out. I want to be like, ah, why are you coming from? So you left the house and six coming back around three in the morning. You that you still come and beg for transport to go out the next day. It was very annoying, but we kept on pushing. And here you are today. Here we are. Mm. All right. After actually uh, encountering all those uh, challenges, you are trying to make a face out of nothing, and then you're here today. How do you see it, and how do you feel about it? So, um, I first I would say I'm grateful to God, and um, 
like I used to say, it's grace. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I just feel that, you know, there's this saying I'm going to say that waiting be your own will always be your own. Yeah, so sure. despite the challenge that I, I experienced, I didn't allow that to hold me down, hold me back, kept on pushing. So I'm grateful that, like, I'm happy I didn't give up. Did you in any day or by chance probably regret that oh those times you were not given the opportunity to perform you felt bad about it and you were like ah this thing is not gonna work let me just no, leave it know, and do something you know, else not being given the opportunity to perform make me keep doing it you know? okay i feel it's the passion you had for yeah me. like if, if i go for a show i don't get paid i'll go back like when i get back home mm -hmm. i'll go back to my youtube page I want, I like, I'm a big fan of Burner Boy, so I'll okay. search for Burner Boy, watch his like, his performances, and the way people like, I'm like, don't worry. One day. One day. <laughs> so, anytime I, I, I come back like that feeling bad, I just go to my YouTube, mm -hmm. play that, play videos of artists performing and see that the car and everything. I like, I have that joy that, okay, one day I'll One day it's gonna come up. So, other stories, then you yeah, go for sure. I felt bad though, but I think that made me stronger. Yeah, sure. It definitely has to make you it definitely has to make you stronger because I mean starting from the scratch is not it's not that easy. All right now let's talk about entertainment here in Aquaibum. How do you see entertainment the face of entertainment here in Aquaibum? How do you see it? It's good, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, now from your own from your own point of view where you had to struggle to do one of the things to make sure that uh, this face is gonna stand up it's gonna, it's gonna stand up someday. How do you still see it? Well, like for a young and upcoming artist. Uh, like I said, uh, it's great and um, the right time, I guess. So, this is the right time for me. Bullion time. It's a bullion time. This is the Ima season. So. Ima season. Yeah, All right, let's talk about that Ima season. I actually saw something on the social media space recently about the Ima season. Can you talk more on that? Show more light on that. Yeah, Did yeah, you know? yeah. Ima means love. Even if you're quite like I tell you. Ima means love. And if I want to say, I love you now and I give you, I'd say, me ma feel. Mm -hmm. It's Ima. It's not about really, uh, it has to be with a boy and a girl. It's also the family, you know. It's okay. love from the family. So, I I wanted to put out the project because at some point, due to everything that happened, but as you bad, the protest, the corona, everything, yeah. we still need love. Mm -hmm. You know, we still need that love. So I tend to bring out this beautiful piece of art so that you still build up your mind that yes, we still need love, you know. Okay. Our neighbors, ourselves, we still need love. So what actually motivated the song? Is it the love thing? I had a question on one girl like that. <laughs> you get stressed me and... uh, Okay, so you decided to put it on track. I don't like the guy again. <laughs> you guys stress me too much. Uh, you actually questioned on a girl. I was questioning on this girl. And then <laughs> it's not like I said I was supposed to myself on her. <laughs> I wouldn't be calling every day, every day. And I was like, what was all this now? This thing is getting to my so at this point I thought I just wanted to do something. I just wanted to express myself. Okay. You know, trying to tell the girl how much I love her. Mm. But did she ever in any way get to know you actually sing it? This song is sing for her. <laughs> you didn't like her though. You're shy. Like Were you shy? See, I thought I like her, but mm -hmm. she was giving me attitude. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Why? In this point, guys, like, okay, you're an artist, I don't guys. So you had to shut down? I don't like stress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you're going to do this song in my for me right now. I hope you're, you're ready. How do I explain it? I'll pay you in dollars. See like. my name there. See my name there. Okay. Ah. <laughs> no more. Well, just, okay, just call it two seconds. I still say this to my name there. Ah. See, I want to surprise everybody. If I did my team, I want to surprise everybody. Everybody? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when the song drops, I'll send it to your, to your email. That's amazing. So. Wow. If I sing it now, people are like, okay, I've heard that song. I don't want to know. No, no. This is the biggest song in Aquaman right now. I don't need too much. You don't to want to share it. <laughs> okay, it's okay since you're saying it's actually the biggest song in Aquaman right now. Now let's talk about um the pandemic that just happened, that just passed um, some months back. We actually had the youth of Nigeria coming out standing for one thing and actually 
saying no to any SARS. We want to end SARS. What's really your take on that? And did you go out in any day for the protest? Ah, that reminds me. Yeah, 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 I did. Okay, so tell me, what's your take on that? Yeah, I supported the motion that SARS should end it. Mm-hmm. Why? Because the, the brutality was just too so much. We you know, were being brutalized yes. or being attacked in any uh-huh. form. Lagos, a quiet one here. We'll just stop it. What do you do? You can have your phone. They do it. They just call you your own boyfriend. Okay. My hair. That time I used to have, I used to call my hair and all that. And I mean, I just like it. What do you do? I give me a different call to some drive and all that. Okay. So that's your take on that. Yeah. Mm. All right. So apart from doing music and probably going to school, what else do you do? Hey, yeah. that's not that. <laughs> that's not that. That's what I do. Uh, how can that be? I'm in the studio. I'm crushing on fine fine girls. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not in the studio, you're crushing on fine fine girls. Like you're for real. You're serious about this thing right now. <laughs> okay, but if I'm not in the studio, probably. Um, the school. I'm not in school. All my friends. Okay. Playing games. Mm-hmm. Oh, crushing on fine girls. I still question for me that's fine. Everyone I'm questioning for you. Like you're a friend of mine. Alright, so what are you studying in school? From in arts. Center that, arts. That's your passion? Yeah, I have passion for it. So in the next four to five years, where do you see the pace of entertainment in our five home state? And big, where do we see Bullion K big, in the next big, four big, years? Big, big. I should be named African Giants. You should be named what? African Giants. Okay. Yeah. Save it. Just save it somewhere. But well, that's for Bullion K. Yeah. The kind of vibe that's going from a crime, the fire that's going from a crime. And I have like people around me that they have mad, mad sounds. So okay. if this stuff drops, a crime, on man. People go adjust more. <laughs> yes, All right. So, how many um albums do you have to your credits? Well, aside Ima. Aside Prey and Emma that is about to drop, um, we're working on my EP, which will probably be dropping 2021 as next year. Next year. So mm. that's another big project coming to us. But before then, Emma video will showcase. Soon? Yep. Okay, so we're actually expecting that yeah. to come up. How do you get sponsorship from for your music productions and stuff like that? Because you talk, you're in school, you're not working, that's number one. Number two, Finances is important here. So, where do you get your funds from? <laughs> well, I'm sorry to record it, but the champion of it. Okay. So, yeah, we made this one for Wow, that's nice. Okay, you're about to call it a wrap. Your final word of advice to young artists out there, um, upcoming artists who are actually <coughs> trying to make a face out of something, trying to. Ah, Build the brand for themselves. Be humble. Humility pays. Yeah, be humble. Keep doing what you love. Keep being real. Your music should be real. I see you, fam. If you're real. Then, do good promotions. It's not about blogging. It's not about blogging on one particular website. Do good promotions for your songs and upcoming artists. Pay for good sounds. Okay. Yeah, good sounds like it. Um, leave the competition. No carry competition with anybody. Just be yourself. Do what's good. Because if you want to do that competition shit now, you start doing what you're not supposed to do. So, so no competition, in other words. No competition, man. <laughs> everybody gets <laughs> everybody. All right, so um, that's been the set about today's program on artisans. But it's just nice mm-hmm. having you on set with me today. I must say. Thank you. Look good and too. I- <laughs> And I hope you stop crushing on every fine girl. You nah, nah, I'm already crushing on you like this. Ah. Uh, so after this, so uh, after the all the camera, me and you. Please, yeah, please. Yes. All right, okay, that's been the sense of our today's program on Artists for with Bullion K. We'll return yeah. next week, bigger, better, and stronger. From all of us in the studio, we say thank you for staying with us and bye bye.